हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एक्सेलेंट इकोनॉमिक्स एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रेवंसा यूनिवर्सिटी एम इकोनॉमिक्स एंट्रेंस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑफ 2017 इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 31 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी ऑनवर्ड्स एंड बी दैट If you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe my channel and please set the quality to 360p or see this video at 360p quality for better visuality and for better experience. Thank you. Now coming to question number thirty-two. Which of the following? estimate the national income in india actually in india the national income is estimated by our central statistical organization cso central statistical organization which is given in option a central statistical organization then the next one the terms trips and trims are related to trips and trims are related to our general agreement on trade and tariff which is given in option d gat general agreement on trade and tariff then uh, question number 34 what is the probability of a sum of numbers in the two throws of a dice being 7 if we are throwing a dice two times then exhaustive case is 36 now favorable cases for getting a sum of 7 is one is 3 4 another 4 3 uh, then 5 2 Two five six one one six. So there are six favorable cases and thirty six exhaustive cases. So the probability is six by thirty six. That is one by six, which is given in option C. That is one by C. Now, multicollinearity problem arises due to multicollinearity. It arises because because of the co relationship among the explanatory variable and it is given in option d co relation among the explanatory variables next one which of the following deals with economic offenses and economic offenses and the uh, cofefs uh, is deals with or economic offense so here the correct answer is option d cofefsa then the next one which of the following programs aims at the promotion of saving among rural women and for the promotion of saving um, we have our government has introduced mahila samriddhi yojana which is given in option b so option b is the correct answer now next one the mean of a binomial distribution with n 20 and p 0.5 where n is the sample size p is the probability of success in case of binomial distribution formula of mean is n p n multiplied with p here value of n is 20 p is 0.5 so n multiplied with p is 20 multiplied with 0.5 that is 10 which is given in option b 10 10 is the correct answer now india had a plan holiday actually india had a plan holiday just after the drought of 1966 so it is given in option c option c it is given in option c that is after the drought of 19 66 which of the following distribution is appropriate for modeling the frequency of rare events in a large number of trials here number of trials is called we sim use the symbol in statistics number of trial as n n is the symbol for number of trial and p for probability of success so if number of trial is very large and probability of success is very small or p is very small then we use poisson distribution so here 
very rare event in a large number of trial it is related to poison distribution we can take the example of poison distribution as the typical mistake of a stenographer or road accident in a city or town as case of poison distribution example of poison distribution now the next one the strategy of rolling plan was adopted during the prime minister during the prime ministership of rolling plan it was adopted during the prime ministership of moraj desai so here the correct answer is option d moraj desai now next one which one of the following is an appropriate sampling technique if the study of population is heterogeneous if the study population is heterogeneous then we have to use stratified random sampling because in case of homogeneous population we use simple random and in case of stratified population we use uh, in case of heterogeneous population we use stratified random sampling then 43 skewness of a distribution is positive skewness of a distribution is positive skewness of a distribution is positive in case of positive skewed distribution a value of mean is maximum and then the value of median and value of mode is the least and it is given in option a so option a is the correct one mean is greater than median median is greater than mode which of the following is a test of heteroscedasticity and out of the four tests your uh, braus pagan test we use braus pagan test for heteroscedasticity and it is given in option b so option b is the correct one then next one if darwin watson d statistics is found to be equal to 0 it means that the first order autocorrelation is if uh, darwin watson d statistics uh, it is we use the test for autocorrelation problem of autocorrelation and if it is zero actually its value lies between 0 to 4 if the value lies between 0 to 2 then it is a case of positive autocorrelation so here the value is zero so correct answer is option a that is perfectly positive then the next one the frbm Uh, act came into force in india in the year frbm act came into force in 2003 so correct answer is option b 2003 now next for a poison distribution it is found that mean is 6 and variance is 5 then the statement or the result is actually in case of poison distribution mean is equal to variance so here it is given mean is 5 variance is mean is 6 variance is 5 which can never be possible in case of poison distribution so this is a false false one the statement is false so option b is the correct answer now number 48 the cumulative percentage of a frequency table have little or no meaning for which type of data actually cumulative percentage of Uh, frequency table it has no meaning when we are using nominal data without any quantitative terms nominal data then it has no meaning then the next one the standard deviation of a standard normal distribution the standard deviation of a standard normal distribution actually the standard deviation or the variance of a distribution is equal to 1 and standard deviation is also equal to 1 so here it is given in option b it is equal to 1 which uh, next one question of 50 one of the assumption of clrm is that the number of observation in the sample must be greater than the number of dias question number 50 number of observation in the sample must be greater than the number of here the correct answer is number of sample must be greater than the number of regressor which is given in option a it is regressor and regressor our regressor means our independent variable then 
population census in India is done. As it is well known to all, population census in India is done, done once in a 10 years. So here the correct answer is option C, once in a decade. Next one, what is meant by trickle down effect? Actually, trickle down effect means the the economic growth will eventually or automatically bring benefit to the poor, which is given in option A. So here the correct answer is option A. It must benefit the poor. It must benefit the poor. Trickle down effect means the growth or the development it must it is to the poor people or it must benefited the poor people now the next what was the broadland commission actually this commission broadland commission is related to world commission on environment and development so here it is given in option c option c broadland commission the world commission on environment and development and this commission has given the develop uh, the uh, definition of sustainable development now what do you what do dependency theorist believe 54 question number 54 what do dependency theorists believe the free market development primarily helps the risk that developing countries should be dependent on free market that economic growth is dependent on the poor and all the above given options are correct so here option d is the correct answer now next one balance growth means balance growth means all sector must be developed simultaneously or there should be simultaneous investment in all the sectors so, and it is given in option b so here option b is the correct answer option b simultaneous investment in all sector then next one an economy is, is at the tip, uh, take off stage on its path to development when it and actually an economy this is the, uh, related to Rusto theory of economic growth and the takeoff stage. The economy is at the takeoff stage and it was to development when it begins steady growth. So here it is given in option B. So option B is the correct answer that is begins steady growth. Next one development means economic growth with development is a qualitative term. So it includes and it is a broader concept than economic growth so development it includes economic growth plus social changes or structural changes so here option b is the correct answer now next one by the world bank's classification system malaysia mexico and brazil are by the world bank classification malaysia brazil mexico these are coming under uh, option b upper middle income countries which is given in option b next one in the harrodomar equation g equal to s by v where v is defined as here v is defined as capital output ratio so here in a uh, in the given option it is given that in option b it is given the ratio of the country's capital stock to its output so option b option b is the correct one now the next one which of the following is not an element of the redistribution with growth policy approach uh, question number 60 which of the following is not an element of the redistribution with growth policy approach and the first three are related to the redistribution policy so here increase access to education is the correct answer which is not related to redistribution with growth policy approach the additional capital used for unit of additional production is called it is nothing but our incremental capital output ratio 61 so which is given in option c 
which of the following is not an approved uh, indicator to measure SDI as per 2010 and it is given GNP per capita at PPP it was a measure of SDI life expectancy it was also a measure of SDI gross enrollment ratio was used for education attainment expected year of schooling actually it was adult literacy and gross enrollment ratio uh, expected year of schooling was not there so here expected year of schooling is the correct answer overall income disparity can be measured by here overall income disparity can be measured by using the concept of Gini index which is given in option B we use Lawrence curve or Gini index for measuring the inequality of income so option B is the correct answer now the next one the solo growth model predicts that in case of solo model solo model predicts that actually the poor nation they will grow at a faster rate than the niche nation poor nation they will grow at a faster red than the rich nation and it is given in option d so option d is the correct answer next one which of the following organization looks after the credit needs of agriculture and rural development in india it is nothing but our nabad national bank for agriculture and rural development so here option c is the correct answer national bank for agriculture and rural development So guys we have completed 265 number of questions and in the next video we will complete up to 100 number of questions. So thank you for your patience and please give your valuable comment and like this video and subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe it for you know to get uh, instant notification of my upcoming videos related to entrance questions paper of different university and UGC net and GRF questions paper thank you thank you all